Well, hello, boys and girls. I am an owl, and today we are going to be learning about owls. Owls, like me, are very cool and very neat birds. And in today's video, we are going to teach you all about owls. There will be several of us owls telling you exactly what we do, as well as videos inside of this video showing you owls and how we live. So stay tuned to this video and learn more about owls today. Welcome back and thanks for sticking around. Now, let's learn about some owls. Owls can be found in all different types of habitats and on every continent except Antarctica. It's too cold there. But every other continent contains species of owls just like me. But it all depends on what species of owls you're talking about. There are a staggering 150 documented species of owls. That means 150 different types of owls all throughout the world. 19 of those species of owls are found in North America, including the barn owl, the burrowing owl, an eastern screech owl, great gray owl, spotted owl, and the long-eared owl, among many others. No matter where the owl lives, one thing is certain. They are most active at nighttime. Unlike humans, owls are nocturnal and prefer to stay awake and be active at night, not during the day. Most owls do not go through the trouble of making their own nest. We just use an old tree cavity, like a hole, or another bird's old nest. Ever want to know what owls eat? Well, although our diet largely depends on the species of owl, most owls like to eat insects, small mammals like hares and rabbits, and other smaller birds. It is also common for owls to eat rodents, like squirrels, bats, weasels, woodchucks, and even sometimes a house cat. Aren't you happy that your diet isn't like my diet? Some owls, like the Asian fish owl and the African fishing owl, catch fish and eat them. Most owls have large eyes that are very noticeable a flat face and a large head. We also have a small hooked beak that is turned downwards. We generally have a very rigid posture which means we stand up straight. Imagine trying to stand as straight as you possibly can all of the time. Yep, the owls like me have excellent posture. Owls are birds of prey, meaning we have to hunt for our food to survive. We can't just go to the store and buy our food. We have to hunt for it. And for this very reason, that is why we have very large, sharp talons or claws used to help catch our food. Hey, I just wanted to cut in and tell you that if you haven't smashed that thumbs up button, make sure you hit the thumbs up button now. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button now and you'll get all videos, all new updates, and all new fun and exciting learning videos from Dot Dot Toys. We put out videos every two days, so make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Go ahead, do it. I'll wait. Great, thanks so much. On to the next owl. Now I want you to try something with me. I want you to look over your left shoulder. Now turn your head and look over your right shoulder. That is turning your head about 180 degrees. Now, believe it or not, although many owls vary in size and appearance, 
we have one interesting ability in common. We can turn our heads 270 degrees. That's like almost turning your head completely around in a circle. This is thanks to our necks containing double the amount of vertebrae that normal birds have in their necks. It makes for a very funny sight to see. And believe it or not, despite having very large eyes, owls do not have eyeballs. We actually have something like eye tubes. Lengthened and held in place by sclerotic rings, a bony structure in our skulls, this interesting feature means that owls can't really move or roll our eyes. Owls are also very silent flyers. Seriously, we don't make a peep when we fly. You'll never hear us. And this is mainly due to very long, broad wings and special flying feathers that reduce the noise when we flap our wings. And believe it or not, another thing, despite popular belief, not all owls make the infamous hoo hoo sound. Owls actually make many different sounds. They can screech, we can hiss, and we can even growl. Here is another fact. Girl owls or female owls are more aggressive and larger than boy owls or male owls. Barn owls mate for life. They cuddle with their mate and their babies. And when one mate dies, the other becomes sad and depressed and may even die too. All owls can be divided into two large groups, barn owls and true owls. Barn owls are medium-sized owls with heart-shaped faces, long legs, and strong talons. Of all the known owls, only 19 species are barn owls. The other species are true owls. They are much more diverse and they vary in size, color, and appearance. Earlier I told you that owls are carnivores. We eat rodents, small mammals, fish, birds, and insects. But we do not chew our food because, just like all other birds, we do not have teeth. If the prey is too big for us, an owl uses its sharp beak to tear the prey apart and then swallow it. Some species of owls have ear-like structures on their head. And they can detect sound, but they serve as structures which provide camouflage. They can also be used to show aggression, which means to show that we are mad or angry. Owls have an excellent sense of hearing. Our ears are located on both sides of our head high behind the eyes. They are often located at different heights, which allows us to hear better, which is very important for detecting prey so that we can eat. Did you also know that we are far-sighted? Do you know what that means? <laughs> it means that we aren't able to see things close to our eyes but we are able to see things very far away. We use this silent flying, our great hearing, and our eyesight to be able to find and hunt for animals to be able to eat. Normally, we live by ourselves or with our mate. We do not usually live in groups, but a group of owls is called a parliament. What we are are very territorial, and we hoot to announce that it is our territory. Owls also lay between a few to a dozen eggs to have baby owls. Most commonly, we have between three to four eggs. They are white and round, and the eggs do not hatch at the same time. 
Sometimes one will hatch, and then some will hatch many days later. The lifespan of an owl in captivity is about 20 years. Out in the wild, we can live longer. Well, I really hope that you like learning about owls. We're pretty cool, aren't we? So many different things that you learned about us. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I also want to give a hoot to Little Puppers, another YouTuber who gave us the idea to do a video all about owls. So thanks so much for the suggestion, Little Puppers. I hope you liked it as much as everybody else. If you haven't already subscribed to Dot Dot Toys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button too. Dot Dot Toys puts out two videos every week that we hope that you learn and have fun and enjoy. So we'll see you next time. Bye!